Two mums were caught with Aldi bags stuffed full of cocaine, worth £123,000, as they were getting ready to go out for a lunch date. Courtney Larkin, 24, had been packaging one kilograms of the drug at home for her new trafficking racket when her friend Ellie Morton, 21, dropped by and began helping. An hour later, police burst into Larkin's home in Staleybridge, Greater Manchester, and caught both women sat near a mirror where they had been getting dolled up with an Aldi bag for life full of crack cocaine and paraphernalia, as well as 37 bags they had already prepared. Inquiries revealed Mum of Two Larkin had set up her own drugs hotline into the town and had acquired one kilograms of cocaine to sell wholesale to local street dealers. At Minchell Street Crown Court, Manchester, Larkin was jailed for four years and 11 months after she admitted possessing cocaine with intent to supply. Mum of One Morton, also from Staleybridge, admitted similar charges but walked free with two years jail suspended for 20 months after she claimed she had not intended to be complicit in the racket. The cops' bus took place on May 6 this year after the two women had made plans with another girlfriend to go out for lunch together in the neighboring town of Mossley. Charlotte Krangle, prosecuting said. Morton attended Larkin's address at around 11 am to get a lift with her, but when she arrived, Larkin was bagging up white powder into snapbacks. Morton asked her if they could leave, but Larkin insisted that she needed to bag everything up before she could leave. She was shocked at what she saw but began to help her friend bag up the drugs. She was only at the property for a short while before the police raided the address at 12.05. The police found both defendants in the living room sitting on the floor. Morton sat next to a mirror. On that mirror was a set of scales and some white powder. In front of both of them was a makeshift table with 37 bags of white powder on it that had already been prepared. Officers also found a big Aldi bag kept out of sight in the corner of the room. Stored inside this bag was just over a kilogram of crack cocaine, razor blades and additional snap bags. In total, there was 1.185 kilograms of crack cocaine at the property, which would amount to 123,187 pounds if wrapped into bags and sold at street value. Morton was unaware of the bag in the corner of the room. Both were arrested and taken to Ashton Police Station where they gave no comment in interview. Both also had their mobile phones seized but refused to give the PIN numbers over to police. This involved her supplying and selling drugs, using a vehicle to deliver drugs, and organizing for other people to sell drugs. The women had no previous convictions. In mitigation, Claire Brocklebank representing Larkin said. Larkin has lost two children to the care system and was just managing to keep her head above water. She has issues with mental health and turned to cocaine as a result. It took a turn and her situation spiraled quite significantly. She has just reconnected with her nine-year-old son and is trying to clean up her act. In anticipation of her sentencing, she moved out of her Staleybridge address and in with her father, who has been very supportive. She has had a difficult time. Without going too much into it, her mother struggled with similar issues. She has been in several abusive relationships and had children when she was clearly not ready to. She has shown remorse and, given her relatively young age, this incident will no doubt be a big turning point in her life. Her Morton, Betsy Hindle said her client had initially asked a relative for a lift the restaurant only for him to reply that he was painting and needed to finish the task. She then arrived at Larkin's home and naively got involved in helping her friend bag up the drugs. Miss Hindle added. She works as a part-time cleaner at the nearby Hollywood Bowl, working a few hours a week. The rest of her time is spent caring for her two-year-old daughter. She splits caring responsibilities with the father of her child and her parents. Her mum is an NHS nurse and her father is a firefighter. She has told me that one of her parents will have to give up their job to look after the child if she goes into custody. Her daughter is at a crucial stage in her development and separation from her mother now would no doubt impact her life. She is easily influenced and struggles to make her own decisions. She was shocked at the time and didn't realize what she was doing in that moment. She told me she has never even taken a drug. She didn't know that the next hour would change her life. Sentencing, Mark Saville told both women. Let's be clear, drugs are pernicious and you know as well as I do these drugs in particular cause misery. Morton must also complete 150 hours of unpaid work and 40 rehabilitation days and must have an electronic curfew tag fitted, which will inhibit her from leaving home between 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. After the case Detective Constable Rick McIver of Greater Manchester Police said. To bust open the door to find Larkin sat surrounded in crack cocaine and drug paraphernalia and bagging it up to be sold to drug users was an evidential paradise. Despite her remaining silent throughout the interview, she ultimately had no choice but to admit to her involvement in the supply of drugs and face the consequences. I want to take this opportunity to encourage the local community to keep reporting drug-related activity to police that will go towards seeing more results like this.